Okay guys, these lessons come as part of my software, flashbrainanatomy.com. You can go and purchase it. Uh, you get all my lessons animated and you get 3D models and much more for studying your neuroanatomy. So you can learn complete neuroanatomy without even reading a single page in a book. Uh, in last video, I talked about the circle of villus and how the blood comes to the circle. And now I'm going to talk how the blood is uh, supplied to the brain from that circle of villus. Okay, so that circle of villus is, is like a circle made up of arteries. And if you don't know what I'm talking about right now, you should go and purchase my software and watch the lesson about the circle of villus. Now I will illustrate that circle of villus on the brain from basal point of view. Here's the brain. And then I will show how it looks like on the lateral side, of course, the arteries that go to the lateral side. And I'm gonna show how it looks like on the medial side of the brain. There are two important arteries we're going to show and how they branch on the medial side. And there's one artery here that comes from the lateral sulcus that we're going to illustrate on the lateral side of the brain. Okay, so first we have the two vertebral arteries entering the skull through the foramen magnum, the magnum foramen. Okay, and these two arteries they join here and create one artery called the basilar artery. Okay, guys, these lessons come as part of my software flashbrainanatomy.com you can go and purchase it uh, you get all my lessons animated and you get 3d models and much more for studying your neuroanatomy so you can learn complete neuroanatomy without even reading a single page in a book the basilar artery goes uh, in this sulcus this sulcus here is called the basilar sulcus on the pons. Okay, so this is the basilar artery. Now before they joined, they gave two branches of arteries. They joined and then down there they create the anterior spinal artery. Okay, the basilar artery gives some pontine arteries here and it also gives the inferior anterior cerebellar artery, the branches over there on the cerebellum, same on the other side. And this was the inferior cerebellar artery. There is also a superior cerebellar artery that goes above the cerebellum up there, between the brain and cerebellum, between the telencephalon and, and cerebellum. Here. Okay. Now you reach one very important and it's called the posterior cerebral artery. I will illustrate those important arteries in different colors so that you have better uh, overview of how the blood is supplied to each uh, side of the brain. So this artery, I, so this artery, I will illustrate it in blue color. And the artery starts here and it enters here between the temporal lobe and the frontal lobe. Okay. Okay guys, these lessons come as part of my software, flashbrainanatomy.com, you can go and purchase it. Uh, you get all my lessons animated and you get 3D models and much more for studying your neuroanatomy. So you can learn complete neuroanatomy without even reading a single page in a book. So if we cut this part of the brain out, this part of the brain out and look from this side we're gonna see something like this and I will illustrate exactly this artery here how it goes and, and it goes actually on, like this uh, over here and I will just illustrate it and I will illustrate each branch in each artery that, that comes from the posterior cerebral, cerebral artery so first the artery starts here and it goes like this okay and first there is an anterior temporal artery that goes something like this. Then there is an intermediate temporal branch here and the posterior 
temporal branch here. So this was the posterior temporal branch, this is the intermediate temporal branch. And this was the lateral occipital artery, and then this branch over here was the anterior temporal branch. Then we have the medial occipital artery, remember that this was the lateral occipital artery. We have the medial occipital artery that goes something like this, and then we have the dorsal branch here, this is the dorsal branch of the corpus callosum. The main artery continues on in the calcarin fissure as the calcarin branch. <clears throat> These lessons come as a part of my software called the Flash Brain Anatomy. You can go down there, I put the link down there in the description. You can purchase the software and watch the full, uh, <clears throat> full compilation of my lessons. And there is also a parietal branch and the parietal occipital branch in the sulcus here. To learn, to, to easier learn the names of these uh, arteries, you should first learn the surface of the brain. There is a lesson, you can purchase my software, flashbrainanatomy.com, and there is a lesson especially explaining the surface of the brain, the sulci and gyri, and then learning these names is, is way, way easier. So this was the posterior cerebral artery and it's same on the other side. So remember we had the main branch here and then we had all these little branches and arteries here. And then comes the posterior communicating uh, artery. And from basal side we have the internal carotid artery coming to the brain, okay? And then it joins on this posterior communicating artery. So it's coming from basal point of view, just like just like the vertebral arteries entering the skull. It brings the blood to the brain, the internal carotid artery. Now I will illustrate the middle cerebellar artery. It comes here from the carot well, after it joins after carotid artery joins the posterior communicating artery here. It becomes the middle. Uh, middle cerebral artery. It enters here between the uh, temporal lobe and the frontal lobe of the brain and it exits here in the insula between the frontal lobe and the temporal lobe of the brain. <clears throat> 